Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. Hit the thumbs up. Share it. Do whatever. Thanks for being here. Today I want to talk about something very near and dear to my heart. And for once, it's not Parks on the Air. I want to talk about power pole crimpers, ratcheting crimpers. So I have one pair, and it always seems like when I want to make a new run of coax, the power pole die is on it. Or when I want to crimp power poles, the coax die is on it. Or if I want to make coax, the wrong size die is on it. It's, just, it's a nightmare. So I'm like, fine, okay, I, I need two of these. It's just a must. So the first one I got, I bought at a ham fest in Michigan at the Michigan International Raceway in like 2018. And uh, I got it from the MFJ booth. It was like 35 bucks. It works great. Got a bunch of dies, got power pole crimping stuff. What a, it's fantastic. But I've been on the search for another one that was inexpensive. Cause you see ones on like the, some of the ham radio stores. Some of them are upwards of like 150, $200. And that's just crazy. So I actually bought one off of Amazon, turned out to be junk. I bought, Lowe's has a really nice Klein crimper uh, that I thought I could use, but I bought it, it was like 25 bucks. I bought it, turns out the dies don't fit. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, the jaws don't close properly. So I found another one on Amazon. This is the Iwis version. Now I have not used this yet, but I can tell it already feels a little bit better than the other one I bought. Um, so I want to take it out. We're going to crimp the wire for my 705, add some power poles to it, and see if this is a good quality budget power pole crimper. So let's get the crimping. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. This is the IWIS Create Efficient Power <laughs> crimping tools, wire stripper, cable cutter. I don't know how you're going to strip wires with this, but hey, whatever. Uh, that might be the model number, AP 153045, who knows? But I'll put a link in the description uh, to where we can get this. But it's good for 15, 30, and 45 amp power pole connectors. So let's open her up, take a look. Uh, nice kind of rubberized, like a hardened rubber um, handle. Good jaws. Now one thing to look out for that I noticed on the last one I bought, when you, when you clamp this down nice and tight, if you look, like follow where the crimpers meet, there really shouldn't be a gap there. That should be pretty tight, and that's something I noticed on one of the other ones that I bought. Uh, it had a red handle, I can't remember the name, but it was pure garbage, didn't crimp for anything. So um, it's got your little receptacle here, so you can put the power pole in and make sure it's in uh, perfectly the right length and all that. So let's uh, let's see what she does. So our objective for the day is to put power poles on. This is the cable that comes with the IC705. Now this is a bit long for me. This is probably, oh gosh, like four feet, three and a half feet of cable. I just don't need that. And unfortunately, the fuses are still quite a bit a ways away from the plug. I would want this shorter. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right behind the fuse and uh, just make it a little bit shorter. So I'm cutting off about two feet here on the wire and we can throw that out. So then we're just going to peel this wire back a bit. The side with the white line on the wire is our positive. So I am going to just usually about three eighths or so. If you strip about three eighths of wire, three eighths inches of wire, that's enough for the power pole to make a good crimp. I also kind of like adding these little rubbery things. I think they call them like fire protection, something or other. And uh, I'll usually just kind of squeeze them and cut a little slit into them. That way it keeps it a little tighter and just makes for a, for a tidier uh, overall power pole. So. Oh yeah, you. So we're going to add this in first. I usually forget that. Twist our wire up. And these are the 30 amp connectors, which should be fine for this. We will see what we get. So 
we'll go ahead and put our power pole in here. Whoops. And then insert our wire and crimp. See what we got. And that sucked. This might be too thin a wire though, so let's try that again. Sometimes, like I probably should be using the 15 amp power poles, but I don't have any and I don't really care. But sometimes I'll just crimp them in the 30 amp one. It looked like it did a good crimp though. And then put it in the 15 amp one and really just wrench it down. Oh yeah. And that's a good crimp. So I feel pretty good about that. So let's do this guy. We'll just put it in the 15 amp one. Why not? We're amateurs, right? Not professionals. Whoops. Ha! I'm really an amateur. Get that guy in there. Squeeze her down all the way until it releases. Now we've got a really nice crimp. Fantastic. So that passed the test. Now all we have to do is insert the proper terminals into the right color. Now the standard practice for power poles is red, right, tongue up. So this is the tongue or if you can see there's a little A there. So red, right, A up and that's how you should insert these. Now sometimes you can just push them in if you've got a thick enough wire and they'll just click in which that actually worked this time. Other times if they're kind of fussy with you, you can kind of put it in and then I'll use a really small flathead screwdriver to just kind of K it MRD it in there, just force it until you hear that click. Just like that. And then we can uh, connect the two together slide up our little sleeve, make it look all nice and professional. <laughs> and there we have it. A nice crimped power pole connector for our 705. Perfect. And now we can test our work and see if we failed miserably or if we passed. So I've got a BioNO battery here. Love BioNOs. And we're going to plug it in. I did that part right. And then we can see, plug it in here, and it's charging. That's fantastic. I didn't break it. And if we turn the radio on, we should also see an indicator that it's charging, which is this icon right here with the little lightning bolt. That's a good thing. And that's such a good radio. Well, that's it, folks. The iWIS Ratcheting Power Pull Crimper sold on Amazon for, I think it was 30 or 35 bucks. Again, I'll have a link in the description. And I uh, just wanted to show this off because I'm sure it'll help a lot of people out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you being here. And I'll see you again on another episode of K at MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.